350 pound. grams. It seems to be growing. We've got to have a bad yes. chance of these. I, I think know, the way we're growing. growing. <laughs> Just sort of draw the edges into the middle until it sort of forms a sort of a ball. Now it's ready to roll out again. rolling in it so you get the hang of it. Maybe. <laughs> and then to the side too, you can that's it. Turn it over now yeah. and then do it from the other side. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> ah. So you need the flour on the board, eh? Hey? Yep. Whilst rolling, you must okay. always have your tongue hanging out in concentration. Try not to do this. Yes. So we put quite a thick. Well, the um, thicker it is, the nicer, nicer it is. You see, yeah. we've got plenty of nuts. Yes. Why You're not? Being a bit more generous. Yeah. It's up to you, really. If yeah. you sort of. And the next one, after you've seen me do this, then you can roll it to see how you. Okay. Oh, nearly forgot what I was saying to bring it right up. Okay. This end. Yep. So you then just stretch this end part again. This way you get neat ends without the mixture escaping from the side there. Put it onto your baking tray. Make your next one so you have two, and then you do the um, brushing with the egg. So All right. Nice. Well, thanks, Olga. Okay. So what we'll do is we'll uh, get ready and see them go into the, uh, the in the oven as the next step. So uh, stay tuned to see them come out. Okay. So and after about twenty minutes, we have uh, pulled the cheese pastry out and it's uh, looking set. Olga do you want to just talk about how you can tell from tapping how the 
how, where, how well, well it's done? Possibly it takes 20 to, minutes to half an hour and the temperature is 180 degrees uh, Celsius, is it? Yep. Yeah. Yep. And cook it for that or bake it for that time until it's golden brown and then if you want to be sure just give it a tap like that and it should sound hollow. You take it out of the oven and it's ready. Okay, and so that uh, cheese uh, roll had its yes. third rising, and yes. over here we've got the uh, the next uh, five to go in. So that batch of yeast that, uh, pastry that we made was enough for six rolls. We've done one cheese and five of the orokovnik or the walnut, and uh, we'll just zoom in on those so you can see how they're looking. You can also see there that they have been glazed with the beaten egg and are set to go into the oven now. So 180 Celsius or 350 Fahrenheit and then they go. Annette, do you want to whack them in? Mm -hmm. We've just got a little bit of extra pastry left over there that oh. Scarlet made that's going in. Mm -hmm. and don't quite make it in. All right, so off go the first two three. It's too high. What if you did it the other way? Okay, so we've uh, we've got a total of six pastry rolls that have been um, been made, and Olga, just tell us about how you can um, you can uh, store them. Oh, I thought I said it already. <laughs> if you have if you have too many of the um, nut rolls or whatever filling you have and you can uh, wrap them in foil once they're cold and put them in the freezer and just use as other normally frozen foods. That's if you like the So thanks very much and stay tuned for further Slovak recipes from Olga.